today we will discuss about the insect resistant bt crops principles and process of biotechnology unit 8 chapter 4 in botany insect resistance the plant has to resist the insect pest so that has to be created through the biotechnological process for that crops are called bt crops the bt indicates biotechnological crops or bacillus thuringiensis crops okay in that we going to see the first crop that is bt cotton bt cotton is a genetically modified crop that is organism or genetically modified pest resistant plant cotton variety which produces an insecticide activity to bully worm bowl worm bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis cotton or biotechnological cotton we can say it as so both the meaning for bt it comes okay so the genetically modified organism so the genes are modified why the genes are modified to again to resist the insects that insects particular insecticide insecticide capability gene was inserted in this cotton plant to resist against the boll worm strains of bacterium bacillus thuringiensis produce over 200 different bt toxins each harmful to different insects so the bacillus thuringiensis produces 200 different strains which can um, which is harmful to or which can attack the insects various insects most bt toxins are insecticidal to larva of moths and butterflies beetles cotton boll worms and gatifly gate flies but are harmless to the other forms of life so this bt toxin it is an insecticidal property gene in seen in bacillus thuringiensis bacteria which is harmful to the larval forms of moths butterfly beetles cotton boll worms and gat flies but the other forms of the these particular is not a harmless these particular insects the other forms is hon, harmless that bt toxins only the larval stage was harmless by attacking the larval stage there is no prediction of these uh, insects no so the, there is no prediction of these insects okay by this you can control these insects and you can create a powerful plant that is cotton plant the genes are encoded for toxic crystals in the cry in the cry group of endotoxin that is the bacillus thuringiensis produce a toxic gene called cry group of endotoxin was created in the bacillus thuringiensis that was attacking that is when the insect attack and eat the cotton plants the cry toxins are dissolved in the insect stomach because already the cotton plant was genetically engineered with the cry group of endotoxin now the insect is eating the cotton plant in the cotton plant you have the cry gene endotoxin what happens means this cry toxin will dissolve in the uh, in the insect stomach the epithelial membrane of the gut blocks certain vital nutrients thereby sufficient regulation of potassium ions are lost in the insects and results in the death of the epithelial cells in the intestine membrane which leads to the death of the larva so what happened this cry uh, cry gene that is cry toxin is dissolved in the uh, insect stomach it attacks the in epithelial tissue that is epithelial membrane where the protein ions will be regulate due to the blocking of the epithelial membrane the protein ions are lost so due to this the epithelial tissue will death will death and the intestine membrane dead in the inter, the intestine membrane won't be alive so due to the, the lack of food and there is a problem in the intestine what will happen it will 
leads to the death of the insect in the larval stage itself because most of the crops are attacked by the insects in the larval stage so they are attacking the larval stage that is we are attacking that is the bt crops are attacking the insects larval stage okay now you understand the bt cotton and this is the cotton bt cotton which was used and it is used in the textile industries also now the advantages and disadvantages first we will see the advantages the yield of cotton is increased due to the effective control of boll worms so the cotton yield is increased why because we are attacking the boll worms so we are controlling the boll worms due to that cotton yield is increased reduction in insecticide use in the cultivation of bt cotton so while using the bt cotton there is a reduction of insecticide so we are we will reducing the use of chemical insecticide this will reduce the cost of the cost of the farming the cost of the farming in the agriculture for the farmers okay and potential reduction in the cost of cultivation the same thing i had said you know and next the disadvantages the bt cotton has some limitation so there are some limitations so we can't use this bt cotton so far the cost of the bt cotton seed is high so the cotton seed of bt cotton seed is high it is it is um, if it is less means we can use all of them but we cannot use okay effectiveness up to 120 days after that efficiency so first 120 days the effective the boll worms will be die after that there is no effectiveness ineffective against the sucking pests like jacids aphids and white fly so these will suck the juice of the um, plant in the leaves of the in the fruits juices so there is they, they are not they are not working that is the cry gene is not working on these uh, sucking pest okay that is a problem affects the pollinating insects and thus yield so the, the, there are some beneficial insects also no so they have they they, they are attacked okay they, they are attacking the pollinating insect insects due to this the insect pollination without insect pollination there is no fertilization and we won't get any fruits so this is a big drawback in the bt crops okay now we move on to bt brinjal bt brinjal this in um, maybe in 2010 or before 2009 i i, I don't know the exact year that time there is a problem that is there there is an agitation is also taken place we shouldn't use this bt brinjal because it is harmful to our health yes i will agree with that because if there is any insect should be arise inside the vegetable what we are eating so that is to be used so this is one of the thing disadvantage of this bt brinjal so the now we will see what this cry gene going to act in the bt brinjal the bt brinjal is another transgenic plant created by inserting a crystal protein gene cry 1 ac from the soil bacterium bacillus thuringiensis into the genome of various brinjal cultivators so what they had done means from the bacillus thuringiensis they took a crystal protein cry 1 ac the gene it was inserted into the brinjal genome and now the brinjal becomes bt brinjal the insertion of the gene along with other genetic elements such as promoters terminators and an antibiotic resistant markers gene into the brinjal plant is accomplished using the agrobacterium mediated genetic transformation so they had sent a plasmid gene with promoter terminator antibiotic resistant and suitable marker that is antibiotic resistant markers in, in the brinjal gene with the help of the ti plasmid that we seen in the agrobacterium no with the help of it we used it the bt brinjal has been developed to give insect resistance against lepidodiron insects so lepidodira insects so the bt toxins are harmful to lepidodira inse insects that is particularly in brinjal because this uh, this lepidodiron insects that is insects only affects the brinjal so they are targeting on the lepidodiron insects the fruits and the shoot borer 
glucinoids orbin that is orbinalis glucinoids orbinalis that is the fruit and shoot borers this is an and this is the one which the attacks the fruit and the shoot borers uh, sh uh, that is that is lecinoids orbinalis so this is the brinjal one and this is the bt brinjal where if you cut the brinjal you cannot see a, a small insect inside this brinjal because it is fully genetically modified plant brinjal okay so that is you, that is the fruit and shoot borer that is lucinoids orbanalis was seen that is was attacking this gene that is this brinjal which causes the insect inside the fruit that can be controlled in bt brinjal okay dara mustard hybrid dmh so dmh11 is a transgenic mustard developed by a team of scientists at the center for genetic manipulation of group plants delhi university under the government sponsored project so it is a project by sponsored by government dmh that is dara mustard hybrid 11 and where it has been done means the genetic manipulation of crop plants delhi university the team of scientists were done this one and it is a genetically modified variety of herbicide tolerant that is ht mustard that is the herbicides against the herbs herbicide insects against the herbicide it is created the genetically modified one and it was created by using barnes or bar star technology of genetic modification by adding genes from soil bacterium that makes the mustard a self pollinating plant so you are making with the help of adding genes the mustard can act as a self pollinating plant dmh11 contains three genes bar gene barnes and bar star the source from soil bacterium so bar gene barnes and bar star the source from soil bacterium the bar gene had made plant resistant to herbicide named basta so the bar gene was resistant to the herbicide basta so there are three genes bar gene barnes gene barnes and bar star the which is taken from the soil bacterium the bar gene was resistant to the herbicide basta okay so this is sorry and this is the dara mustard mustard and this that is it contains the bara ba, that is bar gene which is resistant to the basta if the basta was uh, sown or that is was sprayed on the fields also the crop is not affected by any of it any of it uh, significant that is any of its it, it won't last last it's the significance that is this crop doesn't lot because it is genetically modified it has the soil bacterium genes which which was against the herbicide tolerant that is you can able to tolerate the basta okay virus resistant many plants are affected by virus attack in resulting in series loss in yield and even death so till now we have discussed about the insect resistance that is insects now we going to see the virus resistance so the viruses are attacking many plants it causes death to the plants also so biotechnological intervention is used to introduce viral resistant genes into the host plant so that they can resist the attack by virus so if the viral resistant genes are inserted in the plants that plants can able to attack the the able to resist against the virus okay for that reason we have to create virus resistant plants this is by introducing the genes that produce resistant enzymes which can be deactivate the viral dna so while introducing the genes into the plant it creates the resistant against virus and due to the resistant against virus that genes can able to deactivate the viral dna okay so hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel